to get started. <laughs> Welcome to Sew Together Tuesday. We're gonna hang out for a little bit, let some people show up. We're gonna, normally I would, you know, do something by machine, clean up a little bit, neaten up my little guy. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. It's a special issue. Issue? Episode? I don't know. It's a special Sew Together Tuesday today, obviously, because I got my hat on. We're ready to, to do something a little special today with holidays and all that good stuff. So um, we get some people here. I'm Teresa Coates. I am the National Educator for Shannon Fabrics and today is Sew Together Tuesday. Um, we're doing a special edition today and it is our basically gift ideas. So we have officially turned the corner toward the holiday season. Um, I should have figured out how many weeks it is until Christmas, but it's not enough is what it is. It's not enough weeks. Um, so all of a sudden it always hits me that I'm like, oh, oh no, I gotta start making now. So we wanted to give you some holiday ideas early. So if you are gonna be making some Christmas gifts this year um, or any other holiday gifts that you wanna do, um, or if you're like me and all the people in your life have birthdays in the next two months, here's some ideas for those too. So lots of ideas for you. We're not gonna actually sew anything today, so we're not gonna actually sew together but I've got a ton of ideas for you and we've tried to uh, sort of gather ideas that will let beginners have projects and people who are more comfortable working with cuddle um, have projects to do so we're gonna talk about that as we go uh, if you are watching this and you would like to win we're gonna give away a kit this week if you would like to win um, make sure that you share this video with your sewing friends and people who might want to uh, also work with cuddle fabric and also love sewing because a lot of people love sewing and they don't realize how easy it is to work with these fabrics so share with those folks and we'll be uh, we'll appreciate it and we'll enter you to win what is happening? No, there was no a note about uh, volume, and I'm looking to see, and okay. I think we're I think we're we're running the same settings we usually do, so we'll let it we'll let it ride. They said please, yeah. Ellen says please turn it up, so I don't know if we can. Um, yeah, we'll see. Okay. If I do, it'll start clipping. Okay, make sure okay. I'm plugged in here. All right, we're gonna do our best. Got my move my I'll, move my mic. I'll bump it up one. Okay, I'm gonna move my mic. Normally it's, there we go, it's a little bit lower. Okay. All right, how's that? Is that better, guys? Give us a thumbs up, some likes, some love buttons, whatever it is that you do to show us that it's working better, okay? Okay. Are we getting any any response? Nope, nothing yet. Okay, we're waiting. I don't want to talk too much if you guys can't hear me. <laughs> there, they, there we go, there we go. Right, we got we some got folks some responding. Okay. There's we we also have a big delay. Okay. Yeah, I was say, there's like always that little delay of like, I'm talking and then it takes a while to get to you guys. So um, thanks for your patience. I always appreciate it. Um, so uh, yeah, they said that they can hear you really well. That's interesting. All right, so. I'm really low. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna okay, try, so we're gonna I wanna unplug, unplug and replug. Okay, because we wanna make sure that it's, yeah. Because, I mean, as much as we like hearing Hawk, he's not the one who's wearing it. We want to make sure. It did check, right? Check, check? You can see me? Check, check? Yeah. Okay. It's getting through over there. All right. We're going to hope for the best. So, Hawk's just going to have to stay close to me today. That's all. And <laughs> but maybe not too close. <laughs> I'm like, wait, I am 50, remember? Not too close. <laughs> Stay back. <laughs> anyway, so we have a whole lot of projects today. We're going to start with some of our um, tried and true, the blankets and throws, and that's what people know um, us for primarily. But we're going to show you a bunch of other things that you can do too. So if you have questions, please put them up there. Ellen and Hawk are working together to get me questions if I need to answer them. Uh, Ellen says it's perfect now. So whatever you just did, it worked. Thank you. Um, see, this is why I love having a team to do this too, because if you see me when I'm trying to do it by myself, it's craziness. So thanks for being here, Hawk. Appreciate you. Appreciate you too, Ellen. So You're thanks. Um, all right. So blankets. Let's start with blankets. So we're going to kind of talk through in stages of easier to harder in some ways, but I'll let you know if you're a beginner, this is a great project. Okay. Um, so we did want to start with the that little throw here, I think is what we started with. Yeah, okay, so this is our So Simple Blanket, and this is a pattern that's really easy. You can find it on our website. Oh, I almost forgot, you guys. So we made this cute little thing here. I'm not sure it's really cute, but you know, this guy here. So if you, and they've probably posted it on the thing already, is that if you go to the blog, you can download this PDF, and it's gonna list off all of the projects that 
most of the projects that I'm doing, um, that I'm showing. So it's a huge list of projects that with, with most of them have a link where you can download it. Some of the things that I'm going to show you, you're going to have to try to make yourself because we don't have patterns for it. It's just a cute idea. Um, that's an inspirational piece. Um, but for a lot of them, obviously a lot of them, we have pattern links to them. Some are purchasable, some are free downloads from us, but there are links for it. So if you want to get this and print this, um, while we're doing the show today, you could actually make some notes on what you want to do. So I showed you the fabrics and the patterns on this paper. Um, so that'll help, but I do want to encourage you to be creative. Like we used a lot of the same sort of, um, a lot of Buffalo check in this one today, which is a great one, but it totally works for all sorts of fabrics. Okay. So let's start. So this is the so simple blanket. This is one of the easiest blankets you can do. Um, it is just a two pieces of fabric stuck together with a binding. Okay. Super duper easy. So if you are new to working with cuddle, this is a great one to start. We also have, and I forgot to pull out a small one. I think that's the same thing of just a throw. Okay. So this is a super easy blanket. This is called the so simple blanket. So if you find the pattern, that's what this is. This is a probably 30 by 36 piece. You can make it whatever size you want. It's a great one to practice binding on. So if you are wanting to learn how to bind with cuddle, with Lux Cuddles, then this is a great project for that because you can actually just practice the binding. Nobody will really notice the binding because it's all so soft. Um, here's another one we have. So this is basically the throw. So this is, we, when we do the throw in um, classes, we often do it where they're the same fabrics on both sides. And that's a super easy, great way of doing it. It's a wonderful gift. In fact, hold on, just stay there. I'm going to come over here and grab this one out of the closet. Um, so this is the big, a bigger one. I think this is the 40 by 40 by 60. Okay. So this is one that's made out of uh, galaxy. If I remember right, glacier, this is glacier. And um, it's just two pieces sewn together. So any of our Lux cuddles that you love, this is a great project to do that with. Okay. Because you just make a cute and easy blanket. Okay. We teach these all the time and we haven't really talked about it, but we do classes all the time. So if you guys go to the Shannon Fabrics, um, our, well, you're on our Facebook page. If you go there and you go to events, we have events all the time where we teach these classes. This is one of them we teach a lot is that Lux Throw. So you can make it out of two pieces of Lux Cuddle. You can also make it out of Cuddle and a Lux Cuddle. So this one is super cute and it's made out of the uh, Buffalo Check. And what is that? Sherpa. <laughs> Hawk nailed him this morning. He was like, oh, that's Buffalo Check and Sherpa. And I'm like, in natural. Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we got it down. The thing about this that's extra cute is this guy here, which is a little applique. Okay, so this, and this is a super easy way of doing projects. Like this is just an outline of a bear, which we have in our uh, camp s'more maybe Ellen can help me figure that out it's in one of the patterns but you can literally take any simple design and then just applique them on there super cute and adds just a fun little thing to it I love it in this I think that might be the velvet that's like super super bearish I like it really cute and it's just probably I can't see because I don't have my reading glasses on but I bet it is just zigzag down along the edge yeah, yeah. yep Small, though. Yeah, tiny little zigzag. And the, the smaller ones will help when it's something like this that's a denser uh, fabric. So when the nap is denser like this, a smaller zigzag is actually really good. So um, yeah, so there we go. So that's a Lux throw, okay? So simple blanket. Remember how I told you, Hawk, by the end of this, it's gonna be empty and just a mess on the floor? Yep. That's where we're going, okay? <laughs> All right, so those are two simple projects, the throw and the, um, the so simple blanket. And, um, oh yeah, okay, Ellen said a top cakes, bear claw. That's what it is, it's the bear claw kit. So if you get the bear claw kit, you get the pattern, but also if you go to our website, you can download the pattern for bear claw, which is actually a self-binding blanket. So that's a great little segue, but it has that bear applique in it, okay? So self-binding blanket, we talked about this just last week, I think, right? That we did the self-binding blankets. You can do them smaller, you can do them larger. We have a couple of samples today to show you. Okay, so this is another one made with the buffalo check, and I think, let's see, this looks like it's probably the hide. Yeah, that's the same stuff that we used. Okay, so, so pretty, and it looks just beautiful with the buffalo check. 
So just gorgeous. When you are using buffalo check, make sure that when you cut it, and we've talked about before, but when you cut fabric, I always have you cut it on the back. But I'll reiterate, when you're doing buffalo check or anything with a line, cut it from the front, okay? Because you want to make sure that you get those lines really straight because you can see how nice that is. If it gets off, you can see it'll look kind of weird. But super, super nice little blanket here, okay? Great, easy, lots of variations on this. So I have like four variations on um, self-binding blankets. This project, seriously, if you didn't watch it last week, then we did two days last week where we did the basics of a self-binding blanket and then we did a big self-binding blanket. So these are all big guys, um, but if you didn't watch that, go back and watch it because it really is a great project and it's just so versatile. Like you'll see all of these look different, but they're put together the exact same way. So super cute, okay? This is another one, this is a digital, uh, a digital cuddle. Let's see if I can get it so it's the top. This one is super pretty and a frosted hide. We haven't really done frosted hide yet. Okay, so I'm gonna hold it out so you guys can see it. Ta da! Okay, super pretty. But okay, I'm gonna let you. Yep. <laughs> there you go. Okay, and then we're gonna flip it around so you guys can see the back of it. Check that out. That's so crazy. It's just really beautiful. Okay, really, really pretty stuff. So this is a super, what did I just throw on the floor? Something, super great um, combo here. I really love this because this, the frosted hide really does look snowy, which completely, I don't know, matches, coordinates with this front fabric, okay? So super, super cute. Good size, I think it's like probably like 60 by 60. So that's a great one. All right, and then we have a variation on a theme. So where you can do a self-binding blanket where you then take it and you put out the panel and you add these strips in there. We have the pattern. If you want it, you're gonna have to email me directly, which if you download the PDF, you get my email. Um, so this is a slightly different way of doing a self-binding blanket, but it's great for panels. Okay, so this is our um, Old St. Nick panel. Let's see if I can hold this guy up so you guys can see it completely. Do do. Okay, you see that? Yes. Okay, good, good. Okay, super great. So come on in and show the um, where that extra piece of white is in there. I see. Okay, it. so this is actually. Let's see if I can show you guys. So this is sewn on right sides together, flips up, and then the self binding comes around. Okay, so this is a seam that goes in, and this is top stitching. Okay. Got it. So it's a little bit different way of doing it. The pattern is available um, for this variation, but this is a great one to do with um, panels. You can see from the back, you can see how that works too. So here's the seam that we sewed. Here's where we top stitched it, okay? So slightly different, um, but super cute, okay? I guess somebody asked about the hat pattern, but you're gonna have to wait, we're getting there, okay? We got a lot of things to show. That's just one of them. Okay, and then also this one, is uh, cardinal, so for anybody in Ohio, whoop, whoop. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Hawk's family is from Ohio, so if you haven't been following us long, it's a, it's a theme. I saw my first cardinal what, there last year, right? Yeah, well, it might have been two years ago. Right? Might have been. I, I might have teared up a little. Cardinals are beautiful. So um, this is a lovely panel. We have another one, another panel from last year that's Cardinals flying through um, birches, I think. That's really, really pretty that's still out there in places. So anyway, this is just another, this is not a panel. This is just fabric, but done the same way. So let me see if you can show that where the two seams come together. So a seam and then top stitching. Okay. So it's just a variation. I'll wad that back up there so it's still, you know, pretty-ish. There we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. I've lost my papers. Hold on. <laughs> Make sure I'm going in the right, right order. Okay. So blankets, blankets. Oh, and then we have a couple of big blankets to show you. Um, trying to figure out which one do we do first. I think we'll do this one. So this one was one that we had done for Quilt Market last, last fall, I think. Uh, so we don't have a pattern for it, but it's basically just a uh, crazy eight, I think, except not with eight different fabrics. Um, so these are 10 inch strips and then a two and a half inch strip and then like a 10 inch strip, two and a half inch strip. So you can kind of design your own with this, which is super fun, but I'm going to see if I can hold it up so you guys can see a little bit better. Let's see if I can do this hawk. Here we go. Boop, boop, boop. I know my shoulder is not a good shoulder. So 
okay? Super cute, does a whole middle. I'm gonna pull it up so you can see the middle, how big that section is, okay? In this one, we didn't quilt it because it's just a display quilt. If you were gonna use this, you want to quilt this somehow. My favorite way of quilting it is just in a big, oops, covering the mic, um, is in a big like grid format is just to quilt this down. The other way you could do it is not put any batting in it or put cotton or flannel in the middle and then you don't have to quilt it, okay? So this is a big section that if you leave the matting unquilted, it will break apart and we don't want that to happen. So my suggestion is that you use something else inside or nothing, all right? But if you do use batting, quilt it, okay? All right, that's a big guy. All right, so that's a beautiful one. That one's the winter deer, I think is what we called it. Let me make sure. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I don't see it on here, but I know it is somewhere. I think it's called winter deer. <laughs> what? If you fall down right now, you'll definitely have a soft landing. I will, definitely. <laughs> Thank goodness. See, this whole thing, this is really just, you know, my, my soft wall room. Uh, anywhere I go, it'll be okay, pretty much. Um, so this is another one that we don't have a pattern for. It's really just a, um, an inspiration piece for you. But I wanted to show you because I think it's really cute. And so Gail Camargo is the one who makes most of these that I'm showing you today. Um, she is our resident cuddle expert and she can sew anything with this stuff. She's been sewing it for a very long time. We've mentioned her before and she's a very, very talented seamstress. Um, so anyway, this is one that she did and it's super cute. So I really just wanna show you this so you guys can be inspired and come up with your own thing. All right, but you can see what's possible. Okay, super cute. And you can see all the words, right? Yes, yes, yes. I'll try to get it a little straighter. Okay, and this big snowflake, super cute. All right, so this, for me, like basically, oh, sorry, dissecting what she's doing here because I wasn't there. Let me see if I can come around. Um, is that it looks like this is all pieced like a, um, a strip quilt. Okay, and then this is appliqued on top of it by a domestic machine. And then there are snowflakes that you can't really see super well from this side that are quilted in there, but check them out from this side. Let me see if I can get that flat up there. Hold up, there we go. So you can see the snowflakes in here, okay? So I think that those are machine quilted because if she did that by hand or by domestic machine, I'm extra impressed. Okay, super pretty. And you can see all of that just kind of shines. This backing is actually uh, Cuddle Velvet, which is a longer nap. So we were talking about this the other day. There's Cuddle 3, which is a three millimeter nap. Then there's the Velvet, which I don't know what the nap length is, but it feels like it's the middle ground before Seal. And Seal is a much uh, a thicker one. So it's kind of the same, same idea. I want to see some details on these stitches. Oh, yeah. And I went by really fast. We're going to slow down. Okay, super cute. And look at this. She did like a little rickrack in here. So it has like a little rickrack edge. I just love this piece because it does make my brain tick in ways that I'm like, oh, I could do, oh, I could do that. I love that. I don't know what this, this is an older sample. We've had this one for a few years. So um, this fabric is definitely still available. I'm not sure what this is or if it's still available. Maybe, maybe she knows. And sorry, there's like a hanging sleeve on there. If you saw that weird green fabric. That's what that is. Yeah, I don't see a tag on it to tell me all the fun stuff. But this fabric is available, this snowflake one, which is super cute and great for, you know, Christmas and all sorts of winter holidays. So anyway, here you go. I love this one. This is really, this is one of my favorite favorites. I think it's so cute. So many good details in it. So thank you, Gail. Uh, thanks for being creative and sharing your, your work with us. Okay, so blankets, we got them done. I keep losing my papers. Sorry. Okay, oh, the toys and crafts. Okay, so then, now, haha, now we have all the toys. So we got lots of toys around me, which is super fun because you know I love making stuffed animals. I think they're super awesome. Thankfully, I didn't have to make all of these um, because they do take some time. Uh, so we had a whole bunch of them made. So let me see, let me divvy them up. So let's talk about Funky Friends because Funky Friends are, um, they're really good patterns. We did one before, we did the elephant. So you, if you have watched this for a while, you saw the elephant. If you haven't seen that one, you can go back and watch it. It's Ellie Elephant. Super cute, I love her patterns. They are really easy to follow along and they're really, really cute in cuddle fabrics. So that's what we have today. So this guy is the giraffe. I think it's AK 
giraffe is what they call it. Yeah, so this is the giraffe pattern. All of these have links on the um, PDF that I sent you that share what the fabrics are and where to get the pattern. Super cute. I don't know if it tells me on here how much they were blown up. So a lot of times we do blow up the pattern so that they're larger and easier to sew. And then the little pattern, <laughs> the little hat pattern is actually from, um, I think, her little elf pattern that I'll show you in a second. Super cute little guy. Super cute. Look at those little, did you see his little paws? Like whatever these are. His hoofs. His hooves. They're so cute. That fabric is great. <laughs> Some tear away from another project. Oopsie. Um, okay, so there's the, the giraffe. There's the, this is the teddy bear. This is the signature bear, she calls it. Um, super duper cute. I really like this. You were saying it looked like a... A stife bear. Stife bear. So like a, a higher end stuffed animal. And it totally does. Um, really just adorable. And the little scarf makes it so cute. We have uh, I some be, other... I have to be careful about that. That's intellectual property. It's not, it, right. It's, it's not. not <laughs> but it like it reminded him of those bears. So that's all. Um, it's just like a... It's, it's a nice... It's a, yeah, it's like a higher end teddy bear. I really like it. Um, he's super cute and we actually have a whole bunch of, and you can see he's like, he's got the legs that move. This is one of those sort oh, of cool. ones. Um, super cute and we actually have a whole bunch of little things uh, done for him. So I was trying to see where the, where's the hat that I, oh here, here we go. There was the hat. Ta-da! So we have a whole bunch of like little uh, decorations, accessories for him that are really fun. So this is a great one to be able to make and then actually do more things with it and, you know, make him some clothes and stuff. He's adorable. Okay. So this is the little bear, the signature bear. Let's see if I can put him back with his little hat up there. Just fit up in there. This is my little lion. His hat's going to fall off. There we go. So this is my, this is my guy. I made him. Um, and I like him a lot. His name is Larry and he's also from Funky Friends Factory. This is definitely a more difficult one. So if you have done the elephant and you're down with it and it was really good, this is one that you could try. This one is at 120%, I believe, and I've done them at 150%. I feel like at 150%, most people could do it. When it gets too small, it's just much harder to do, but 150 was great. So um, we talked about it when we did the elephant before, oops, is that... Uh, on her site, on the FunkyFriendsFactory.com site, she tells you how to enlarge the patterns. And so you can totally do that, and we enlarge them all the time. Okay, uh, here's the little moose. So this is Mickey Moose. With the lion, is there a, a lioness variation? No, kids? no, just, just Larry. He's Got a solo, it. he's a bachelor. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that there is. You could check her website. She has, I don't even know, probably a hundred different animals. We only have a very few of them today. She has a bunch. And um, she's from Australia, so she has some fun, fun animals in there that we don't necessarily know from the U.S. Um, this is the moose. Super cute. Buffalo check in there. And I can't remember which fabric this is. It might be a frosted hide. It's a frosted something. Ellen will tell me. There's no... Actually, I probably have it on here. Let's see. Do, do, do. Buffalo check. Looks... Lux Cuddle Silver Fox. That's what this is. Silver Fox. Okay. Super pretty. Okay. And this is one of her... Um, I wouldn't necessarily say easy, but it's easier probably than the lion. Okay. The lion is definitely one of the harder ones that I've done. Okay. And then, oh, she's got... The, this is the reindeer. This one's hers, too super cute little reindeer. Um, he's adorable. And this one is made out of Cuddle 3. So you can see the difference in, like all of these have been made out of Lux Cuddles. And then this one was made out of Cuddle 3. The difference is that you can see all the seams. So when it's made with the Cuddle 3, you can see all the seam lines because that's just the way Cuddle works. If I show you the back, you can see all the lines from where it was sewn together. If I show you the back of this guy, you can't really see the seam line so well. Okay, that's the biggest difference with working with it is that with the Lux Cuddle you can hide seams and with the Cuddle 3 you can't. So, um, but it does give it a slightly different look. I think he's absolutely adorable. Look at that nose. Oh my goodness. So cute. Okay, super cute. I like the Royal Silk. Most of these have some polyfill in the base. Okay. Oh, the poly pellets. The poly pellets, yeah, sorry. Poly pellets in the base here to make them sit nicely. All right. Um, 
There's none in the feet. There's some in the, the front feet to make them hang down. All right. So um, the poly pellets in the booty makes a big difference in how well it sits. All right. Okay. And then these guys, these are the last ones from her. Okay. And these are, you get the name right, Edward and Edwina elves. So they're super duper cute. All right. I have to get, to, I have to show you um, something pretty close on here too. So I'm going to put this guy down and show you on here. So come look at his legs. So his legs are actually made out of cuddle three. Okay. Be like, where are my glasses? Here they are. I'm going to put them on so I can actually see it and talk about it right. Okay. So this one, you could, oh, see, and I can't even, yeah, it is. It's like she used, I think she used clear thread, like a monofilament, and zigzagged over this to make the stripes in it. This is just embroidery floss that she's stitched it down so that it's made these little stripes in the legs. So yeah, cute. No, I can barely see it in person with my reading glasses on. Yep. Um, there's another one, gosh, that I saw somewhere. Oh, here, maybe this is it. This is the same thing. Yeah, so this one, maybe you can see it a little bit better. Okay, where it's just the embroidery floss or pearl cotton there and then is. zigzagged over it. Nice. So this is what I'm talking about. Like, Gail's really good. This is what I mean. She's really good. She comes with these clever ways of doing things, like adding stripes to the legs that I would have never in a million years thought of. So super good. Okay, so these are Edward and Edwina. Really adorable little guys. They're little, they're little fluffy cuffs on the shoes. Just adorbs. Oh my gosh. So clever. This, the little, the little collar, you can see it's just left raw edge. Okay. So just cut it out, stick it on. No need to finish those edges, all right? So sometimes with the pattern, it's fun because you get to kind of morph them a little bit and make them work with cuddle differently. Okay, so those are all of those patterns. The other one we had, I, I, have, I sent my, my, my cute little pony off to uh, Red Roxy in Iowa. It's one of my favorite shops. She's really, they're really great out there. I taught there a few times. And anyway, I sent the pony version of this. The pony version would match color-wise a lot better. But this is a super cute one. This is from uh, Rustic Horseshoe. If you remember, we did this one for a Sew Together Tuesday a while ago. She also has these really cute ride-on toys. And so they're super nice. She gave us a discount code. Um, I'll find it in a second. Here we go. Whoopsie, it's falling over. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you. I don't have the ride-on toy because of a series of unfortunate events. But... This is what they look like, and they are super cute. And she has a reindeer, a llama, and a horse, I think. Um, but she's giving us a discount on the ride-on toys. And let me find my paper. And I'll put it up there for you guys so you can make sure. But she is offering 30% off the Nutty Nag, which is the little horse guy that we did before, the reindeer ride-on and wall decor, and the llama ride-on. Okay, so there's a rainbow, or a rainbow, a reindeer one that's super cute that you can actually make it so it st sits on your wall too. So it's like if you went, you know, you went hunting and you caught a reindeer, and stuff his head and stick it on the wall. That's what it looks like, except out of cuddle, which is super cute. So anyway, so she's offering a discount for those. Those are super great um, stuffed animals as well. Those I did at 100%, the ones that I've done, and they've been fine. And the ride-on toys, I think, are super nostalgic cute. So uh, you can have a ton of fun with those and all the decorations on them. So great, great toys there as well. Uh, okay, so then that's the... That's all the toys and crafts. Oh, that, wait, where did that get? I was like, that's a, that's a home decor thing is where it's listed, I think. Yeah, yep, yep. It is kind of crafty though. Uh, okay, so I move this guy so I can see a little bit better. All right, okay, then we have wearables. So my hat, I'm wearing the Santa hat. Let me see if it, who, somebody asked for it. It is so many patterns. The Santa hat is from Simplicity. It's 2542. Um, super simple little Santa hat with a little cuff on it. Okay. I want to come around. We're gonna, All right. We're going to look at it. Cute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a fun little hat. I yeah, really like it. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, can I wear the hat? Hawk said I could, so I am. I'm just going to wear it the whole time. It's going to help me feel better, so that's great. <laughs> I like it. So I, I think this is probably, you know, good uh, 
it's like petting cuddle makes you like calm down and stuff too you know and i think like wearing the cuddle hat is good for that it's a good it's a good anti stress thing um so anyway the santa hat adorbs this is the seal okay so you can see that the seal is extra fluffy that's the seal all right and there's some variations on the thicknesses so if you ever look at our website you can tell it'll tell you how big the um the nap is and so i don't i can't remember what seal is it's a lot though uh then we have the infinity scarves so there's a couple of let me grab this stuff that's over here so this is one oh see i might have to take the hat off to put this on to get the hat back on okay here we go it's gonna be fine. it's gonna be fine don't stress Teresa okay so this is our team infinity scarf so this is a little bit different because it's two different fabrics so the infinity scarf is also one that we teach okay in classes so I'll show you this is a regular infinity scarf it's um, one piece of fabric and um, it gets put on like this Ta-da! okay super cute it's just one one piece of fabric that's 18 i think by 36 30 for me because that's what i like um mm -hmm. and then it's put together so that it twists into a mobius strip we teach this class a lot so if you are interested in learning how to do an infinity scarf look for those events because we teach this a bunch um it's a great great project sorry i totally covered the microphone um that's a fun one this one is done with um, two different fabrics. So instead of having one larger piece that we fold in half, we put two smaller pieces and sew them together. All right, so then we end up with a scarf that has both, okay? So that's pretty cute. And um, just lets you have the two different fabrics, which I think is super fun of mixing the Luxe Cuddle and a print, okay? Okay, super cute, but this would be, um, so this would be a great project if you uh, wanted to make some coordinating things, picking a Lux Cuddle and a print works really nicely. I really love this, and I think this is the, yeah, this is the hide caviar again, okay. So you can see where they come together. If you've done this project, if you've done the infinity scarf, this will make sense that these, fab these seams work this way, okay. So this is a great project. Like I said, if you don't know this one, take one of the classes. Lots of shops are offering them, and it's a great, um, it's a great project to do. Okay, so the scarf, the infinity scarf, this one is called the Team Spirit Infinity Scarf, okay? And this one is the infinity scarf. So that's the difference. So when you're looking for the patterns, Team Spirit, infinity, okay? Um, Hawk's got a hat on. You want to turn that thing around? See if we can see you too. <laughs> So he's got a hat on too. Which hat? I can't read it. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, it's a simplicity pattern. Okay, it is simplicity. <laughs> I think I have it written down here. 8531. There we go. So that's what that one is. Is uh, That's a cute little hat. It's got a little pom-pom. I don't know if you could see that, but it has a little pom-pom on the top, which is pretty cute. Here, I'll put it. There we go. Ta-da! Oh, it's warm. Yeah. <laughs> So this is the little hat, the little pom-pom on top. Super duper cute. All right. And it is lined. So sometimes when you make these hats, you don't have to do them lined because the cuddle is nice enough. But to be extra warm, that lining will, uh, will make a big difference. Okay. I think mine is not. Yeah. Mine is not lined. Okay. So mine is just like this. The, um, the seal here is both. It obviously comes around because we didn't want to seam at the bottom. Okay, but it's unlined at the top, and that's what makes it extra floppy. All right. The other one that we have that neither of us could fit is this little, this little kid's like, I want to call it a hunter's cap. The headwear is what it says. Um, oh, that is cute. Super cute. And this one has the Sherpa inside. Okay, so this would be a really fun one uh, if you live somewhere that's actually pretty cold. We are complaining I'm wearing a sweater today because LA is like 50 degrees, but. Um, I know some of you live places where it gets really like actually cold <laughs> so this would be a great one for those places you could put the little ties on here too with yarn bits or whatever um and this one is a, another one from the um some from simplicity it's one five six six view g um okay so you can check out some of those uh, the main um, big pattern companies have some really cute little hat patterns and i find some of the basic really basic accessories are good through their patterns okay so that's that's another one that's true there all right i'm gonna put my hat back on and hope for the best okay because i think it's fun to wear okay it's all right yes okay all right <laughs> thumbs up okay
Okay, these are another little project that you can do. Super duper cute. Okay, these are, get that tag out of the way because that's I'm just going to take it off real quick. It totally is getting in the way. Okay, it's just totally getting in the way. Okay, these are super duper cute little slippers. Ta-da! Okay, she made a little bow because this is this is how Gail works, and she makes these cute little things. So she just did this little this little bow out of the cuddle, and then added little pom poms. Okay, it's no, lined. It's showing up super well on the camera. There we go. Is that better? Yep. Okay, we gotta get gooder light. Gooder light, better light maybe. <laughs> so this is Lux Cuddle inside Lux Cuddle hide. Cuddle three little bows with some pom poms. Okay, you could totally use ribbon for this as well, um, and you know purchase your own pom poms, or you can try to make them. The important thing when you're making these guys, get this stuff. Okay, this is the slipper gripper, and you can find this at a lot of um, different quilt shops and stuff. Look for it because you want to make sure that you've got something grippy on the bottom. It also comes in black. We're going to be doing slippers, I think, in December, early December. We're going to do slippers for Sew Together Tuesday. So if this uh, project looks fun to you, this is one that you could hang out and do with us in a few weeks. Okay? Super cute. Look at that. And those come in um, small, medium, large sizes. So make sure that you are measuring your foot to the pattern. Um, I think I wear a 9, and I'm pretty sure I did a large because um, I know it goes extra large too, but I'm pretty sure that a size nine was a large, okay? Um, and play with it a little bit, all right? But it's a fun pattern. This one is from McKay Manor Musers, and we have done, we did their patterns. We did the um, the jelly bean pillow from her before. She has a lot of, lot of patterns that use cuddle fabric, so make sure that you check out her website as well. So McKay Manor Musers for that. Are we still, that was the, the wearables? I think that was all the wearables? check yes okay all the wearables I'm like oh I can move on now okay so this is a cute little stocking obviously <gasps> it needs a little ribbon at the top which I didn't put in there but you would just put a little ribbon in here this one is made from the AccuQuilt die so AccuQuilt has a die that lets you cut out a stocking which is super cool and really really fast so we did uh, we talked about die cutting before a few times I'm a big fan of it I love die cutting I think it works really well for lots of things and it worked really well for this the only thing you want to make sure that when you're using those dies is that you put the nap face up and not into the blades It'll cut the other way. You'll just end up having more of the fibers in the blades. So I put it up and I cut two layers at a time. All right. Um, but this, so I cut both of these pieces out at the same time, laid them together, cut them out. And I actually laid them right sides together. So one went down, one went up. Okay. But super cute. All right. And this is Buffalo Check and the Sherpa that we did from before. Okay. And then it's, I just lined it with cotton. You could absolutely line it with cuddle, but I used a cotton just because I wanted to see how it would work. And, um, but you could do it either way. Okay. Ta -da. And we're going to be doing stockings down the road too. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we have a couple of gnome things. This is one. This is the holiday gnome from Happy Heart Patterns. And so she has, she has a couple of them, this one and this one. So I'm going to put them, see if I can get my papers to go away the right way. So this one is a gift bag that was actually just stuffed. So we made it into a stuffy. Okay, but this is the gift bag pattern, and this is the, uh, I think, the wine topper pattern. So you can actually, it's a bottle topper, and so you make this top part, and then it slips over the top of the bottle, and then you can give it as a gift, um, which is super duper cute. And then this is, you can make it as a gift bag, and then this is the top of the bag. Um, so we just sewed them together so they became stuffies, but that's what they originally are, is a gift bag and a bottle topper. Super cute, right? Adorable. And look, all the jingle. It feels very holiday in here now. <laughs> okay, let's stick these guys back up here. So I can show you this. So these two pillows are another um, inspiration for you. Okay, because this is not a pattern. So this basically is using our monster pillow. So you may have seen that pattern before. Super cute little pattern. Um, it's got a crazy little face on it. it. That's basically using the same idea where we have the big circle and then we cut out eyes. And then this, she did the nose and did some little extra stitching on it. And, um, and then these. And this is all this, um, this, I think this is velvet or is this snow? Our seal. It's seal. So this is Lux Cuddle Seal. So you can see it's extra, extra fluffy in here. All right. But this is just applique on here. You want to make sure that you use some sort of a topper when you're stitching these down. Okay. 
and then she pulled that out of the way really neatly around all of that. So if you haven't done applique, I would probably start with a lower nap for this, but uh, it's actually super duper easy. It does give it much more of a snow look where like the coal bits are stuffed in. It's very fun. And then the little hat, I think she just made up the hat because that's what she does. And I know the little holly piece came from another AccuQuilt um, project. Okay, so I don't have a pattern for this one. Okay, love you, but I don't have a pattern for it. Um, it really is just an inspiration piece of what you can do with this stuff. Mostly because I'm just always so amazed at what Gail does. Okay, and then here's another one that's the same idea, just another inspiration piece. This one is extra simple, that it's just um, like an 18 inch pillow. Put a little bit of Lux Cuddle down the, uh, down the center here. Sew on, some, sew on some little bells. This is just Cuddle 3 here around the belt loop, or belt loop, belt buckle, okay? And just a strip of cuddle three, okay? Super duper simple, because all this is is straight lines. Straight lines, just applique down. Really cute, all right? So that's just an easy one that you could figure out. The middle piece looks like it's about two and a half inches, three inches, three inches for this center piece, just so you know, and two inches for the belt, okay? So three inches for there, two inches for the belt. Make it up yourself, okay? All good. Oh, now I, I lost his place. Okay, he's gonna go over here now. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know where he goes. Home decor, let me make sure I got everything. Um, the gift bags, the pillow, the tree skirt. Oh, we didn't do that. Okay. This is the tree skirt. So tree skirts are an interesting thing. They're super cute and um, really easy to make. This one is more complicated than I have done, mostly because I'm really lazy and I just get like the super fluffy Lux Cuddles. I cut a circle and then I kind of just cut it, put it around my tree. Um, so you can be super lazy or you can make a nice one. This is a beautiful one and um, yeah, it doesn't have a pattern either, but there are lots of tutorials out there for making them because really mostly it's just the circle idea. This one has panels that she meticulously did. So if you can zoom in here and you can see how carefully she did these so that the seams would match up oh. all the way around with the buffalo check. Okay. I don't expect that out of anyone. <laughs> okay. And then she bound it with the cuddle three. And then the backing is also cuddle three. Okay. But has this nice border of the the Lux Cuddle hide around the front that she's top stitched down. Okay, so she did this sort of like a self binding blanket because this is a seam. This comes around and it's top stitched. Okay, and that's just because that's probably easier. But yeah, this is a very, very well made, beautiful tree skirt. Okay, so <laughs> not expecting that out of all of you. Okay, beautifully done, absolutely gorgeous. And then, like I said, it's just bound, has a little tie, put it around the tree put in place. Um, I love it. Okay. So you could do this sort of thing with lots of things. And like I said, you could even just get nice fabric, drive it around your tree. Um, I don't know if you remember what we did that with the, <laughs> it was like, yeah. I was like, that was easy. Look, I just cut some fabric and wrapped it around. Um, okay. And then I think that that was it except for the Noel, which is uh, a pattern from a uh, Huntress design studio. So she's a quilt pattern designer and I, she's a friend of mine up in Portland and uh, she came out with this pattern recently and I was like, I want to try that and cuddle. So I did. So the whole thing is cuddle. Um, you could probably come around and see, just go. don't zoom in on the bad parts. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's all applique down. So if, I, or applique cuddle. So if I were to recommend you, I'd recommend that you do the pattern, but I would recommend that it would be easier to do the letters in cotton rather than cuddle because the cuddle was really small. Um, but I did, I traced out all the letters on the SF-101, the Pellon interfacing, fused them to the back and then cut them out. And then this is all a blanket stitch. Okay. And then this is all the Buffalo check. This is Sherpa, some cuddle three and more um, Buffalo check. Okay. Super cute, super easy. It took me, I think about three hours or so. As I talked, to, I talked to a lady yesterday and she said, whenever you tell people how long it took you, multiply it by three. So um, we'll say it took about nine hours. A lot of um, shadows here, folks, <laughs> but this is what we're doing. Sorry. Yeah, lots of 
lots of light coming in ways we don't want it to. Yeah. Little bits, places I haven't fixed. Yeah. It turned out super cute though. I really like it. And it's, uh, I think it's about seven and a half by 40 inches or so. Um, perfect for lots of places in your house. And I think it's kind of fun. So you can make it with or without the G. So if you wanted to say Noel without the, um, the G on it, you can, but it's like Noel gnome. I think it's pretty cute. Um, Sam said that she named hers Nigel, but it's spelled with a G too. So, <laughs> um, so you can name them all sorts of things. All right. Did we have questions that we need? Uh, please hold the Santa pillow up again for people. The Santa, this one. It's not quite on the ground, but it was close. This one. Dee -dee -dee. Super cute. And look at this. I didn't show you the back, but look, she made the belt go around. How cute is that? So cute. Okay, and super duper easy. So this is really one that I feel like you can absolutely, you can do this on your own. Uh, we talked about throw pillows before. So if you're interested in learning how to make throw pillows, we talked about those. And um, really what you want to do is make squares that are the same size as your pillow. Um, I trim down the corners and, um, and go from there. Uh, Ellen said she wanted to know what size is infinity scarves for kids and I can't remember. I think 26 inches is what we said. Um, yeah, maybe one of our one of our BAs that's watching will remember. I can't. I think it was 26. So like 18 by 26 instead. Um, we can make them a little bit smaller. I make my infinity scarves at 30 inches because I like them to fit closer to my neck. The pattern says 36 inches, and most of the time, if you buy, um, we have kits, and some stores do their own kits with the infinity scarves, and those are usually 36 inches. Um, so what I always recommend is that you make it at 36 inches, and then decide if you want it shorter because it's easier to do it that way. So you can make one that was 36 inches, try it on your kid, figure out where you want it to be, and then next time make it shorter. So they're such a great project and so um, so flexible for lots of different people that yeah, it's, it's not a big waste of fabric to make one that's a little bit too long. So, um, all right, any other questions that we had? There was a ton of stuff, like a ton of cute stuff. Look at all this adorable stuff, you guys. So we have lots of different holiday ideas. There's more patterns on our website, of course. If you have not joined us on I Love Cuddle Fabric, I recommend that you do. There is um, tons of inspiration on that group, which is great. And the other thing I was gonna tell you there is some of the fabrics, like people always wonder, like, where do I get the fabrics? You can use Google to find it, but I will recommend that on our I Love Cuddle fabric group, there is a pinned post that people have added stores to it that they know that you can buy the fabric at. So I recommend that you check out that post specifically and see if you can find one that's close to you or just find one. Like all of the shops that I know of do lots and lots of shipping to people. So they're more than willing to ship to you wherever you are. Um, there's lots of good choices out there. We have a lot of Buffalo check today, but I hope that you can see that it works for that really well. It also works for lots of other um, prints and fabrics as well. Um, all right, so then we need a, a winner. So Ellen will get me a winner for today and we will be back next week next week next week we are finally finishing pat the penguin so for oh all of gosh. you i know oh my gosh. So for all of you who've been like when are you gonna finish wow. that we were gonna finish it when we stopped being on lockdown and being able to like you know go back to the studio and actually do stuff there and then we realized like that's not gonna happen for a little while so we're gonna do it from here and i am fine with that. So it'll be a little bit different if you have made Pat the Penguin up to the point of putting him together. Um, it'll be filmed differently. It'll look a little bit different. It's still going to be me. We're going to put it together next week. So I'm going to show you how to actually put all of the pieces together and make him into a penguin. If you haven't made this yet, this is a great pattern. It's a play mat that looks like a big penguin. He's super cute and he's actually really easy. We have, we have videos on how to make the feet, the wings, the mouth, the beak. Um, and then we'll have the one to make the body. So we'll be doing that next week and finishing that up. But if you are looking to do that or any of the other play mats, this is a great one to do. Okay. Um, all right. So now we have a winner. Uh, the winner is Joan F.S. And she is our winner for today. So we will send you a kit so that you can make your own cuddle strip quilt. I think it's probably what we'll send to you. We'll talk about it and uh, figure it out. It's next week. We'll be back Tuesday at 10 a.m. Next Tuesday. I'm going to spill the beans. It's Hawk's birthday. So, <laughs> so it'll be a little special one. Um, so that'll be fun. So we got to do a Tuesday, a video, uh, so together Tuesday for mine, and we get to do one for him too. So that'll be extra fun. Um, and we're going to be doing Pat. So it'll be a great one. We're going to continue to do a bunch of uh, gift-themed ones over the next 
month and a half or so. And so that'll be extra fun. Come back, join us then. Make sure you tell people about our videos, share them. You can find them on YouTube after. We always do them live on Facebook every Tuesday at 10 a.m. And uh, we'll be back next week sewing. All right. Till then, happy sewing.